I'm Mary Taggart with Ottawa Home Magazine. Today, we get hot and beefy with Steph the Grilling Gourmet. That's right, we're grilling in the winter and Steph will have lots of tips and recipes for you. How you doing? I'm Steph the Grilling Gourmet and I was asked to actually demonstrate a little bit of winter grilling. Now winter grilling doesn't have to be difficult. You don't have to stand outside and flip burgers. Let's do something that's a lot easier and you don't have to stand by your grill. Beef ribs. Lovely, big, meaty, somewhat tough, but we're going to get around that by the cooking method that we're using. Trust your butcher. That's the first thing you got to do. Meat, butcher, good combination. Trust your beef. So we're going to cut these. So let's go ahead and cut the ribs. All right, so we just want to continue cutting between the ribs. So you should have a nice large amount of beefy goodness that it's exposed so that the smoke can get to it. So we're going to put these in the bowl and we're going to take a really good rub. Seasoning is very, very important. So we're going to use my Coco Java rub and just sprinkle a little bit of that rub all over these ribs. Now the Coco Java rub has got a little bit of coffee in it. It's got a little bit of cocoa in it. It's got all kinds of wonderful flavors. That now that we have the beef marinating, we need to be able to smoke that wonderful beefy goodness. So I'm going to show you how to do a really economical smoke pouch. We've got a mixture of two woods here. We've got apple wood and we've got hickory. Now the ribs are going to take between four and five hours to cook. So you're probably going to have to make a few of these pouches along the way. So you make a nice little pouch, grab your knife, and make a few holes in the top and a few holes in the bottom. And that is going to allow all that wonderful smoky goodness to perforate through the foil and onto the food that you're cooking. We've all got mashed potatoes laying around. So we're going to take some mashed potatoes and we're going to flavor these mashed potatoes. I'm going to add a little bit of my Metitalian dry rub to the potato mixture. Nice, light, I think it'll go really well with the beef. And a tiny, tiny little bit of my sweet red rub. And to go with those herbs and spices, we're going to use some Parmigiano Reggiano. I love cheese and potatoes. It works really, really well. Good flavor. Vegetable component, onions. Potatoes, love onions. Onions, love potatoes. So we're going to do some green onions. We're going to follow that up with some Vidalia onions. And <laughs> it's, it's potatoes. Bacon. Bacon for the potatoes. So we're going to put some bacon in there. This has already been fried up. Actually, I grilled this on my smoker. And some extra old cheddar cheese. I'm going to throw some cheddar in there because, like I said before, cheese loves potatoes. Now we're going to give this a really good mix. And that's pretty much it. And we're going to scoop some potatoes right onto the plank. Let's do a whole bunch of these. All right. We've got our lovely little potato balls going. So all we have to do is take our lovely little creation and go to the grill. Minus 18 out, dead of winter, and we're doing some winter grilling. Here we have our big, beautiful gas grill. Three burners on the left-hand side are off. The two burners on the right-hand side are medium-high heat. This is going to create indirect heat for you to cook your ribs perfectly. So let's put some meat on the grill. Start off with the big, beautiful, full slab of ribs. And we're going to put the individual ribs right next to it. Now remember, there's no heat under the ribs, so you're not going to burn anything. So the last thing we have to do is put our lovely little wood chip pouch on the grill over the flame so that we have a little bit of smoke for the wonderful ribs to enjoy. So we're going to close up the grill. I'm going to let all that heat and smoke do its thing, and we'll come back in about two and a half hours and check what we've got inside of here.
All right, it's been about three hours. The grill is at about 225 degrees. So let's take a look. Ooh, yeah, these, these are looking fantastic. We've got the smoke pouch that's still emitting a lot of smoke. We've changed that up three times so far. We've got our full rack. The retraction on the bone is telling me that they're almost ready. So that's also telling me it's time to put on some potatoes. So we're going to take the potatoes. We're going to put it directly over the hot part of the grill so that that direct heat can start smoking that wood and making these potatoes as tasty as the beef. So we're going to let that go for about another hour. And we'll come back and check the grill. So I can smell the hickory, I can smell the apple wood, the potatoes smell amazing. So let's take a look. Oh yeah. So the smoke pouch is doing a beautiful job of smoking everything. The plank potatoes are golden brown and ready to go. The ribs, they're done. Now it's just a matter of putting on a little bit of sauce if you choose. So I'm going to put a little bit of sauce on the coco java ribs. A little spray, a little squirt, a little bit of goodness. All right. We've got some delicious ribs that are ready. The potatoes can come off. Now let's go inside and cut it up. So we're gonna cook between the bones. Cut them nice and evenly. Now that is a thing of beauty. And we've got our sauced ribs. And we've got our lovely planked potatoes. So there we have it. We have our grilled mashed potatoes with bacon and chives and onion and all kinds of great ingredients. We have our ribs done two ways with my sweet red rub and my cocoa java rub. We've got a little extra sauce on the side. And there you have it. A little winter grilling, all kinds of tasty goodness. So get out there and fire up your grills. I'm Steph the Grilling Gourmet. Keep the fire hot.